May 20th, 2017, calling William Alexander. Office of the Honorable Judge William Alexander, Division 504 of Public Combined Court. We are unable to take your call because we are either in court or assisting another customer. Please leave a message, including your name, case number, and telephone number. Your call will be returned as soon as possible. Thank you. Please leave a message at the tone. When finished, you may hang up or press pound for additional options. Hello, William Alexander. I know this is Saturday. It's May 20th, 2017, but I wanted to... Uh, contact you and let you know that I opened my meal and uh, Deborah Eiler is uh, tampering this case and uh, depriving my rights to being heard with my filings, the police reports and numerous filings filed into this case to prove the exuberant amount of constitutional violations conducted in 15 CR 1287. Deborah Eiler has followed up with unconstitutional uh, letters stating she's depriving my rights in essence of determining that she's going to determine what goes into the case record, which she cannot uh, violate my exculpatory evidence rights to proving the duress, the terrorism, the uh, cruel and unusual punishment and treatment. This is a violation, and it's an automatic mistrial in appellate court for what is occurring. And be it she wants to tamper, it's obvious she's taking her seat of power to threaten me and terrorize me by her seat of power, by continuing an unconstitutional case and then depriving my right to have justice and to be uh, relieved from this malicious prosecution. And you guys need to cease and desist. This is unacceptable. This is a levy for war, and I do not appreciate you putting all of our citizens in life-threatening dangers of having bombs thrown at our country over something like this that Hitler did. This is not a joke. And the other thing I want to bring to your attention is it appears that David Krockenberg, as I'd mentioned in this case prior, and all of the uh, child porn probable cause, there's sheriff officers who uh, threw away porn and rape videos. It's in the front page, and it appears that the actors within these court cases are partaking in that, are also being investigated, as it had been priorly mentioned by other officers and other public defenders that they were contriving and conspiring and taking FBI cases that were child porn to run them through the Pueblo courts to try to evade the judicial officers from getting caught in those child porn watching and partaking, which was all noted in these cases, which has also uh, been threatened to me by Susan Middleton and the Pueblo, the uh, CMHIP police that if I didn't shut up and stop reporting all of that that was being said by the officers that they were going to hurt me, and which they did. So I'm bringing that up. That was in the paper, and it shows that uh, that definitely has the officers in judicial seats in a probable cause being uh, suspic suspicious suspects to aiding that officer in the disposal of uh, illegal pornography. So it looks like, Mr. Alexander, that you might have partaked in that. I don't know. That's how it appears, sir. This is not a threat whatsoever. Again, this is Dr. Heidi Woodick, but all of the pieces of the puzzle are adding up. And uh, David Krogenberg had uh, thrown out a bunch of stuff just recently.